How's it going guys? Welcome back. As promised, here it is, our second, our follow-up video on Jumpmaster because you guys in the community, we all pulled together in the last video with all the mystery and all of the testing that I've done and you guys have done. Uh, and some of you out there, you had the hidden gem of knowledge, the they diamond are. in the rough of... Uh... They are the translator of the, the hunter <laughs> nonsense. They know yeah. what's up. Supposedly Somehow. they can convert doesn't knock back in the air what was the what's the actual description can you uh you know uh i don't have it equipped it was pr uh it was something like prevents knockbacks uh during jumps that's what that was the something it was something like that yeah that has converted into gives you flinch free level one so <laughs> we now know yes. that we now know that it doesn't work against monster attacks and a bunch of other things but because of you guys the, the mystery is solved and the skill has gone from broken to useless. <laughs> to really, really bad. And here's, here's the double whammy of this, okay? For one, it's not even a decoration, all right? Flinch free is level one decoration slot. So you can fit level one on any build at any point, right? Mm. Jump Master, however, is on certain gear pieces that aren't that great apart from the Kadachi helm, in which case there's there's other better helmets as well. But it's also weighted really highly on talismans. It's like it's weighted like the same as like weakness exploit or something big because it rolls like flat on a rarity seven. Why is this skill yeah. rated so highly to only be on armor pieces yeah. and and a high weight in talismans? Yet it's the equivalent of a of, of a worse than a level one decoration slot. So guys, you figured it out. We've done the testing and I wanted to show you the testing so you can see how it works. So we can finally put all of the misinformation to rest so that we know what it does and we know there is no bugged skill. It's just really bad. So I, right now, <laughs> let me just uh, double check and show you guys. I don't have any decorations on, no armor pieces and no talisman. This is this is zero levels in, in everything. I have literally no skills. So, if uh, if if my I got my assistant two six today as well. Hello. By the way, two six, how you did today? I'm here. Uh, if you could just shoot me with the bow as as uh, as as rapid as you can, uh, you'll see that I'm I'm getting uh, staggered. I'm getting flinched as as per normal, right? If I try and do a vault, I get knocked on my butt like this. You see that I get knocked down if I do the vault, knocked down again. I can't do it, right? And then so that that's one thing. So I can't jump. And I get flinched on the floor. If I then go into a silk bind, uh, like like hold position, like where I sort of dangle. If you shoot me, I should fall out the sky. And there it is. So, this is with no skills on. Uh, just when you're generally airborne, if you have a a bow gun or a bow friend or hunter in your lobby, uh, they can kind of mess you up a little bit. It, it to be honest, it doesn't happen that often in hunts. Even having played a lot of insect blade myself and and a lot of aerial dual blades recently as well, it's quite rare to get knocked out the sky by a friend but it does happen from time to time right so Weight if we go and slot in the same as weakness exploit <laughs> guys <laughs> and all these yeah. other stuff by the way yeah. oh, Even though i don't know what i do <laughs> flinch free level one is like the same is like a one slot gem like the same as like free meal this is weighted the same as like weakness exploit this is 10 out of 10 skills right here guys <laughs> look guys this is my talisman with it on rarity seven with a one with a one slot decoration space and just jump burst <laughs> okay <Absolutely> so <laughs> it's a very important skill <laughs> so if we have it slotted on you'll now see if you can uh, if you can shoot me again i still get staggered on the floor as per normal right but if i do a vault the sparkles hit me and i'll just try and demo it again because my camera's gone Oh, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> if I try and do it again, oh, oh, I, I I'm didn't free. Shoot that time. You'll see the sparkles will proc, but I still can jump, right? So it lets me vault even if I'm being shot, which which the flinch free level one already does, but it also just stops you getting staggered on the floor as well. Uh, and then <laughs> and then the wire bug test next as well. As you'll see, uh, I won't be able to get uh, shot out of the wire bug here. You see it goes oh. through me. It does the little sparkle effects. Let's just test it one more time because I think we missed a few there. This would be uh, a good school if there's PvP, <laughs> but there isn't PvP, so I don't know. <laughs> true, true. So you see, I, I it's literally just level one flinch free while you're in the air. And just to extra, extra confirm, uh, I will now put everything off and put flinch free level one on so you guys can see that they both uh, literally function the same. So, uh, And in fact, I'll even 
I'll even show it's a level one decoration. Let's just slot a level one flinch free, and here we go. Uh, it's over here. Carving Pro, uh, where is it? Uh, da, da, da. There it is. Flinch free, level one. So we'll just do the same things again, and you'll see that it's it's literally the same, but Jump Master's worse. So uh, you won't be able to stagger me this time. You see the sparkles, but I don't get staggered. If I pull my weapon out and I do a vault, oh, if we can uh, <laughs> sync it up, I'll do a vault. I think that missed me there, but you won't interrupt this vault I anyway, because that's me. what Flinch Free does. There you go. You saw that. I it was just for, my, for the sake of my screen, we saw the sparkles there, and we'll do the uh, the silk bug test as well, just so that you guys can see. So, the skill, the skill jump master confirmed not broken, but confirmed worse than level one flinch free. <laughs> So guys, it that's no literally sense. it. <laughs> we <laughs> put too much respect on his name. Like if you see a skill <laughs> that is weighted like that heavily and takes up that much on like armor and all of that stuff, you'll just think that it does more than it actually says it would do. Like you would think that it would be like, I don't know, flinch free level three. You're not getting knocked back. It does some really cool things. It takes like the insect glaive from like to doing a madness to doing even more of a madness and it will just cause you to become like some god in the game but like legit it's the same as a <laughs> level one slot skill that you can slot for cheaper like i can't i some... actually can't believe it. i wasted hours of my life testing this. you know you know what at paradise <laughs> about the same mm. amount of time that that person wasted coding it into the game <laughs> for no one True. to use it <laughs> <laughs> it's literally, it's literally, I don't see any use case where it's worth using because you will always get a free level one decoration slot somewhere in your build to, to put a uh, flinch free in. And like I said, it roll, it's weighted so high on talismans, any good talisman is not going to have it on it, right? Mm. And you're probably not going to use the armor pieces because there's better armor pieces out there. It's just, a, it's a crying shame. I, I really hope that they, it's called jump master, but you are not a jump master when you use this skill. <laughs> like, it's, but to be fair, it's such what, a shame. What I'm going to say before we like wrap up this video is, this game always humbles you as well. So there's probably somebody out there that knows a use case for this True. skill and that particular uh, nuance that it is for it to be used over flinch free if you do know that then definitely drop it down in the comment section so that we can know what that is but like yeah for now i don't, I don't know i don't know what's going on there man what what can you say it, it look, it's looking like it's the worst skill in the game to be honest mm. um I don't recommend you guys use it i recommend you just slot flinch free level one in if you're doing aerial stuff um but yeah, if you know anything about it, please put it in the comments because I've I've read so many of your guys' comments. I tested so, so many things from roars to monster jump attacks to uh, all of the stuff we tested in the last video because some of you guys were still commenting the stuff that we showed in the last video as well. Um, <laughs> but here it is. It's basically an aerial flinch free level one, but uh, but 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 harder to fit in your in your gear. It's, it's kind of mad, guys. But you guys solved it. This was a community effort. I couldn't do this alone. I was I was testing all the different jump stuff, but I never thought about uh, no, the flinch stuff. Actually, so. I have a question for you guys. The guys that knew what the answer was, how did you know that was the answer? True. How did you guys know? I tested for hours. I was out here doing jumps into the bubbles of the training dummy. I went into real hunts. I was trying to see like, oh, nothing's different. What's going on? No, How could you guys know? I can so understand interested. that there was a few people out there that like tested it and tested that specific like method uh, because someone did tweet at us and like tag us in a like, couple of videos and that. But it, was, it just seemed that there was a couple people in the comments that knew where it was ages before even, even playing the game or even testing anything. Like, how did you know? Where did you mm. go to go find this information? Um, I need to know. Yeah, I need to know. I want to be there, you know? Yeah. I want to be your. I want to be, be in your friend group. Right? <laughs> anyway, guys, there it is. I thought I would share it since you guys figured it out. And uh, it's sort of an important follow-up from the last video because we just didn't know what it was. And now we do. So now everybody hopefully knows. Case closed. 
book book on the shelf. Uh, but if there is an extra use case for it, put it in the comments down below. But it seems like this is this is all it does, uh, you know. So thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for all the support. Do drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. If there are other skills that are looking particularly interesting, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do a deep dive and a bunch of testing on that as well. Because I do I do enjoy testing stuff like this. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but uh, I find enjoyment in it for some reason. <laughs> I just like to know how everything works. So thank you for watching, everyone. Two six. What video is going out on your channel today? We are doing a monster tier list. So we're going to go through all the monsters from best to worst. Arix is going to be there. Paradise is going to be there. And we're going to rate the monsters in Monster Hunter Rise. So come join us over there. We want to know what you think is the best monster, what you think is the worst monster. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. So definitely head over and uh, hit me up when you get over there. It's a really fun one, guys. I, really I, if you have a, if you're busy doing a task and you can, you know, watch it on the side or something, you guys, I think you're going to enjoy it. So definitely check that out. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you're staying safe. And that's it for this one. So till next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.